I feel like even fast forwarding to you joining the league this year and playing with Bleed was probably a great opportunity for yourself. But like also like joining a dysfunctional team where like I know Frost was telling me a little bit of stuff where it's like I think like not even everybody knew English at some point, right? Like how the hell are you? Is is, is that true? Or? No, not for the the initial lineup. Um, when when we went to bleed on the I like I guess the second iteration when we the stage two, yeah. uh, one of our players was still like kind of like learning like uh, English still, mm -hmm. and sometimes like comms like would be like missed and stuff like that. But I mean, I you you, you can't I don't know if you can fault him for like for that. It just makes it hard though for you Especially as a high player. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It makes it hard for you as a player joining in. All your teammates are like, yo, we're playing with Yay. They expect they expect you to carry them, but they don't understand <laughs> that this game isn't like that anymore. It's not just like one guy can literally just you know shit on everybody. Like you still need the team behind you, bro. So like how do you think the year went for you? Uh well, i I mean, obviously, you know, it was rough, but how what did you expect going into playing for Bleed? And what actually went down within the team? Because you were on a bunch of different characters again, flexing all over the place. Yeah. And it feels like you guys just didn't have a good like foundation to start with. I think for me, it was... I, even going back to the whole C9 thing, like it felt like for me, um, I had this lingering thing like, like whatever team like I joined, obviously there was like high expectations of me, but it's like it would get transferred over to the team and my teammates. So like when I joined C9, it's like, oh my God, C9 super team, <laughs> you yeah, know, like right yeah, away, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. they're gonna win everything. And it's just like, man, like all the expectations are like incredibly high. And it's like anything else other than a win, it's like, oh, these guys are awful, overrated, you know? Like, and it's like, man. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, I come, I come join DSG, all of a sudden like, DSG is like on the top of everyone's list. It's like, oh my god, they're gonna win Ascension now. You know, they got the yeah, and like it's France. I, I swear, it's transfers like the pressure like over to like my teammates and stuff like that because like all of a sudden like I feel like for like a lot of them, um, you know, like all the posts, like the social media, they instantly go to like the very top. Where it's just like <laughs> maybe like before they, they were low like, key. It was like more low key, you know. There wasn't like, oh, they had a you know bad game. It's like, oh, that's whatever. But now it's like that you have a bad game. It's like way more like instant. Like I guess feedback for like a lot of the guys. I remember even not to jump all over the place, but when I first like joined Bleed, um, <laughs> I remember we were like scrimming and stuff like that, and like some of the managers would like come in and it's like it's like yeah yeah. Uh, look at what all these VLO comments are saying about you, oh <laughs> and like God, the team. I'm like, bro, I don't, I don't want to read that. It's like they're all, all these guys are talking so much shit, and it's just like, oh man, I don't, <laughs> you know, I, you know, I don't want that kind of thing, you know. And it's just yeah. like, and the thing is, it's just like that it's is actually weird. Fast. Uh, Ouch. That's how this yeah. community is, though. It's the recency bias. It's like, dude, they love you. They absolutely love you. Your esports player of the year. At some point, or you're the they Schmieg, you, they hate you. or you're the Schmieg, right? All of a sudden, like, bro, like, if, if you have one bad fucking game, I swear to God, while you were esports player of the year, probably still playing for for Optic, you're still, yeah. you're probably in the finals, you had one bad map, you already know Twitch chat's talking shit. For no fucking reason, bro. And yeah. they don't understand, like, me and Frost had a whole deep dive into, like, how these, like, dweebs, I'm just gonna call them dweebs, fuck it, though, they're, they're dweebs actually have an effect on our life and like they can take food off of our plate with the with the shit that they say yeah it's it was a weird situation because like even with like dsg it's like obviously there it's no <laughs> it's no secret the team was like really like i guess like dysfunctional overall it just wasn't like freaking messy. I, I i don't i could go way into it with like all the drama and stuff like that but like for me that stuff is like in the past and i i could have handled like some things better um i mean <laughs> i could i do there's so much i could say uh, say on it and like i uh, you know i you know for like all these clips like i i have equal like of like just things that could be said because like you know i, I record all all my vods and like stuff yeah. like that i yeah. record like all, all our talks and stuff like that and like for me i don't want to like hold like you know bad moments over people and stuff like that and do that whole thing because like I, I think in the end like no one no one wins in a situation like that for like, sure. just no one wins. 